Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of Ami Broker tutorial videos. Um, and again, just moving on from the Ami Broker basics and into the area of trading systems. The idea here is that you can um, take these ideas, these trading system ideas, and how to code them and use them as ideas for your own trading systems and also ideas on how to test your own trading systems as well. So just really great stuff. This one's a very simple one. It's based on a Bollinger Band breakout. So um, that's basically a Bollinger Band is, is, uh, is what we're looking at on this chart here. It's based on volatility. Um, it has an upper band. It has the moving average in the middle, which is what the bands are based on and then it has the lower band as well. This particular system has performed very, very well in backtesting and in out of sample backtesting as well. Um, and a few people I know have been trading it in real time with decent results as well. We're talking over 20% per annum on average, which is, you know, that's a quite a decent rate of return uh, and up to um, 28 to 30% per annum as well. So again, very decent um, potential for this particular trading system. It's based on the Bollinger Band breakout system in Unholy Grails by Nick Raj. Nick Raj is a master trader um, in Australia, down under Australia. He's an absolutely stand-up guy and this is a great system um, that he's just put forward in this particular book as well um, on, on Holy Grail. So definitely recommend that, highly recommend it. Um, basically, looking at a Bollinger Band breakout, um, there's a few things that we want to set up with our code and how do we get there? We go first of all to Analysis, Formula Editor, That'll bring up our, our blank sheet of paper so that we can get started. So to do a Bollinger Band, it is very simple. It is B band top. So it's B band top and B band bottom. Now, as you know, in our other videos, when it turns blue, it means that Amy Broker recognizes it and we open our bracket and it tells us what it wants us to put in. So it doesn't get much simpler than that, really. Um, and what we're doing here is we're doing the top band. So this is the top band. Very, very cool. So the array will use the closing price. And we'll just open that up again. So closing price, we want the range. Um, now this will be the, the moving average range. So we use a 100 day moving average. And, and again, you could use anything you want and you could also optimize these values as well. Uh, I have a video on how to optimize um, your trading system as well. So you can check that out if you want to. Now the standard deviation is the width and what we're using for the top band is three. And we close our bracket and put a semicolon at the end to close off the, um, the code. Now let's do the bottom band. So we go B band bot or B band bottom. We open it up, it turns blue, so it means Ami Broker recognizes it. We open up the bracket, we want our array to be the closing price, um, and we want our range to be 100 of our moving average, and the, the standard deviation or the width of the, the Bollinger Band bottom, we want to be one. So that's a shorter one than our, uh, or a closer one than our, than our top band. So now that we've set that up, we really want to turn those into arrays or objects so that we can reference them later. So if we go um, uh, bolly top, let's go. You can call it whatever you want as well because this is, this is our universe. We're creating a universe here. So we can really call our array whatever we want. I'm going to call mine bolly top and bolly bot. Um, just for simplicity's sake, so that I can remember them in the future as well. So we've got those. Now every time we reference Bolly Top or Bolly Bot, um, it will return this value for us. So that's exactly what we want. Now, uh, again, really quickly, if we just want to set up our buy and sell signals, when we type in buy, as you can see, it turns um, it turns bold. So that means Ami Broker recognizes it as well. So that's fantastic. And we want a close our buy signal to be a close oh, greater than, well no, greater than, there we go, or equal to bolly top. And we close that off with a semicolon, and that's the end of that line. Same with the, the sell signal, we want to close less than or equal to bolly bot. And we close that off with a semicolon. So what that will give us, and we'll just see if we can 
make that a bit smaller. As you can see, and I, I'll show you how to plot these as well, we can actually plot these on a chart so that we can get a visual of how we're actually doing and you know where the signals are actually occurring. So that's really cool. I'll show you that in another video just on how to plot shapes and how to plot things on a chart. Um, but the idea is, as you can see, we've got the, the entry arrow there, and, uh, and that's when it closes above that top band. And as you can see, there we go, right at the end there. It's, uh, it, it closes below that bottom band, and that gives us our exit signal. Now, if we're going to backtest this, we just need to set up a few other things. So what I'm going to do is, uh, is our position sizing really quickly, set, and this is explained in another video as well. So um, if you can follow along, go for it. What I'm doing is setting the option of the max open positions, and... Ami Broker should recognize that. I've put that in inverted commas because that's the way that it appears in here as well. And we want our maximum open positions to be 20. And then we just want to set our position size and open up the bracket there. As you can see, it's turned blue, so Ami Broker recognizes it. And we want our size to be 5. And our and our and 5 watts. 5 watt exactly? We want it to be the percent of our total equity. And as you can see, it gives us the clue there as well, just in that in that little um, clue. That that thing is very handy. <laughs> Equity, if I can spell correctly, yes. And as you can see, when it locks it in, it turns bold and it and it formats it correctly for myself, which is great because my typing skills are terrible. <laughs> so, uh, so you know that it's locked it in. That's great. Now I think that's pretty much it. So. We've got 20 open positions at any one time. It's going to buy with a close above the three standard deviation of 100 moving, 100 day moving average, and sell with a close below um, the first de standard deviation of 100 moving, 100 day moving average as well. Goodness, that's a mouthful. Um, let's save this as. Uh, what can we save this as today? We can save it as Bollinger Band amazingness and we'll just save that there now we can close that down and let's see if we've got this right we'll go to analysis old automatic analysis um, use a filter of, of a backtested list uh, like a list of stocks a watch list of stocks I've got um, this particular list that I use it's the top 200 down under Australia set your range um, I'm going to use from 2000 to today and we need to pick our uh, Bollinger Band Amazingness. Pick that up there. We can edit it, just make sure that it is exactly what we want. And um, just really quickly, if we check our settings and go to trades, uh, what I've done is I've set the delay. So in other words, we get the signal and then it will buy on the next day's open. In other words, um, you know, I'm not going to be there watching the closing price. I'm going to wait for an end of day signal and then I'm going to buy on the next day's open. So really quickly, let's have a look. And it has given us a result, so that means the code is okay. I've just clicked back test there. Now let's click report and see where this where this gives us what this gives us. So okay, based on that particular um, test, what we've got is an average annual return of twenty five percent per annum, which is just fantastic. I mean, that's just, I mean, for an automatic system really, and a long-term, a relatively long-term system as well, so very low maintenance, uh, that is just a fantastic return. Now, let's look at the, the gory stuff as well. It, it wins less than 50% of the time, so it wins about 46% of the time on average. Um, some people might find that a bit hard to follow, but you know what? That's a lot better than other tre trend-following systems you might have. The drawdown, the maximum system drawdown is 36%. Let's just have a look at the chart here. So it turns $50,000 into just over $900,000, which is very good um, as well. That's over 13 years. And as you can see, there's our drawdown there. So on average, it's less than 20%. And then during 2008, it had that big drawdown <laughs> of about 35%. So 2008 was quite a nasty bear market. I mean, if you can get through a nasty bear market and have only a 35% drawdown, and after that, what happened? I mean, after that, the it's still made back maybe three or 
three times, three or four times your capital. Um, so 400% basically your trading capital after the, the global financial crisis. So, you know, sometimes you've got to trust the system, as Nick Raj himself would probably tell you. Um, and again, cannot stress enough, if you get a chance, check out his website. It's thechartist.com.au. He's an absolutely stand-up guy as well. Um, cannot recommend him highly enough. And again, very simple to, to code in Ami Broker. And with a little bit of code, you know, you can do amazing things. I'll show you how to plot it on your, um, on your chart as well, just like this. Uh, in another video. So very simple to do with the buy and sell arrows just with a tiny bit of formula code. Anyway, I hope that has helped in some small way. Guys, have a great day, have a great week, have a great year and happy trending until we meet again. All right, bye for now.